In this Sensu introduction, I'll show you how to get Sensu up and running in under 30 seconds, configure basic infrastructure health checks, instrument your applications for agentless monitoring using the Sensu APIs and more. And best of all, I'll show you how this works across public cloud and container-based infrastructures for developers and operations teams, a truly unified monitoring platform and workflow. Okay, let's dive in. If you have Docker installed on your laptop, the easiest way to get started with Sensu is to visit sensu.io Click Get Started, Copy, and Paste. And we'll see uh, Docker will go ahead and download the latest Sensu Docker image. And it will then run uh, one, one copy of that image as a Sensu backend. It will also give us a Sensu agent. So we have a nice local uh, development environment, testing environment. And I can see um, that I already have access to a local API endpoint and dashboard, which we'll look at in a moment. Okay, the next step is to download the Sensu CLI tools. It's very much like if you're familiar with tools like Kubernetes with its uh, Kube CTL, we provide Sensu CTL or Sensu Cuddle, if you will. And uh, this gives us a command line interface access to interact with our Sensu backend. And then one third step, I will copy and paste. This is going to uh, register a Sensu plugin or what we call Sensu assets for use with Sensu and create my first check. And if I give that just a moment, uh, we'll log into our dashboard, we'll wait for that. And uh, we will see the results there. Very good. So I have now my first uh, monitoring check. I can see the results both in my dashboard and in the console. Okay, let's see how easy it is now to instrument our applications to send events to the Sensu APIs. To do that, we will first start by using the built-in multi-tenancy and role-based access controls to create a Sensu role, a role binding. Uh, this role has access to a specific namespace, and then we're going to create an API key for uh, use in our applications. In the case of our demo, uh, instead of an application, I will just uh, use curl to emit an event to the Sensu API. And I could instrument my application in this way to send you know, potential errors uh, to that API, um, telemetry data, whatever the case might be. You can do this easily from any shell script or any programming language in the world. All right, we're going to switch uh, Sensu environments now. and. Um, that we will do that by updating our command line tool to connect us to a Sensu deployment we have running in AWS, a Sensu backend there out in AWS. I'll log into it oops, uh, here from my um, browser as well. So I'm connected to that dashboard. And now let's see what can we hook up to this thing. So we'll use our local Docker environment again, but this time I'm going to have uh, this agent that's running on my laptop connect to um, that backend that's running in AWS. And we can also then run um, uh, that agent as a sidecar in Kubernetes. So here I have a very simple example uh, Kubernetes deployment that's just running uh, two uh, pods with Nginx in it and sensor agent sidecars. We see those automatically registering in the dashboard. And then if I switch uh, tabs here in my console, I'm connected to two EC2 instances where I'll run a curl, curl bash installer. Um, I'll get two of these going. Um, so I have even two EC2 instances connected up into the same backend. So now we have a nice uh, representation of multi-cloud infrastructure, maybe um, hybrid cloud, uh, depending on how you like to think about that. And if I run that same command uh, that I ran uh, on my local Sensu environment from the Sensu website, that third step in the quick start guide on the Sensu website, I can now deploy uh, that NTP monitoring check across all of this hybrid infrastructure. So as soon as that runs, we'll see the results here. And um, while we wait for that, we can also do show one more workflow with Sensu. That is, I can create checks. There we go. That check was just scheduled and run simultaneously across all that hybrid infrastructure. 
Um, now I can also create checks from configuration templates. Um, I'm in the wrong directory to do that. So now uh, I can feed Sensu a monitor configuration from a configuration file very much in the same way you saw uh, me create a, um, a Kubernetes deployment. We have this similar workflow with, um, with Sensu that allows us to create monitoring configurations using even uh, declarative configuration templates in a more natural infrastructure as code development workflow. Okay, so that's all we have to show you uh, for today. To give Sensu a try or to learn more about Sensu's other great features, including health checks and custom metrics, alerts and incident management, real-time inventory solutions and system of record integrations and automated remediation and other custom workflows, please visit sensu.io to get started today. Thank you.